Hello guys, Nato Ace here and this will be actually a follow-up on my video on Frost and G4 drama, my closure on this story. So yes, that one's going to be my closure thoughts of the whole Frost and G4 story. You know what happened? Massive layoff and then when push comes to shove, they had to let go of Frost because of her colorful tweet after the layoff i mean it is what it is there and some people said that why would you let her go maybe have someone do some sort of like video game debate with her again i don't know potato potato whatever the reason i want to do this follow-up is that if you watch the latest episode of attack of the show basically they're doing some pickleball game and you've probably been wondering why are they doing that and apparently in the end of that episode it was revealed that yes the rumors are true to some extent i'll explain that later that kevin Pereira is leaving g4 first people might say oh my gosh why would g4 let him go why is he too expensive etc 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 not really the case apparently and this is what you call a timing of circumstances because of the massive layoff now people thought oh kevin Pereira leaving it was something related to that not really the situation and apparently either because i didn't really watch the pre g4 show i started watching the g4 show when they finally started the reboot on november of 2021 but apparently when they announced that kevin Pereira was going to be one of the hosts of the attack of the show there were already been signed and he actually said this that just to let you guys know i don't know when i don't know for how long but I'm not going to be here as a permanent host. Like, I'm not going to be always doing this. That the idea basically for Kevin Pereira to be there is to help the new host start the show, get their food on the road, to give them some advice, some insight of how to do the attack of the show. And that eventually in the long run, which is September of 2022, that he's going to be leaving. He wasn't going to be there permanently. He's just going to be there for a while. He's going to help people around. Teach them how to host the runs around for Attack of the Show. So, I mean, it is what it is. Thoughts about it is, hey, you know, what's best for Kevin Pereira? You know, he's going to do what's best for him. Can't do anything about it. So, like I said, if you want to be there and you got to let go, that's a different story. But in the case with Pereira, he just said, yeah, eventually I'm going to leave. I'm not going to do this, like, forever. And the surprise is, wow, September 2022. Well, yes, because the thing is, after that episode, they said that they will be having a two-week break, and then they're going to be coming back in October. So, technically, it's not going to be there in October. So, it's kind of close that, yes, he is leaving G4. So, again, when the case with Kevin Pereira, it has nothing to do with the massive layoff or with Frost. It's been planned since 2021, even with the pre-open segment, like in the summer, that yes he will be leaving so there you go so for people that said oh no yeah it is an oh no but not in the way of g4 or comcast basically kicking him out it's just that yeah i'm done uh i did what i could do i taught you guys what i could it's time for me to move on and that he wasn't going to be there for long so with that said is that is a of the show going to be in a good place without Ken Pereira? and my personal opinion believe it or not is I'm going to have to say, yes, I know it's a shocker because there will be times without Kevin Pereira. You have Austin Creed as a host. He does a good job, in my opinion. Cass is doing a good job. So you got those two. And you got a variety of people there. Fiona, Gina, Will. And believe it or not, those crew are more funny than the X-Play crew. Nothing personal there, except for Gerald. But I'll explain it later. That for a while... I stopped watching X-Play because it's like, eh, this is not really interesting anymore. I talk the show for me personally. It's kind of funny. So I know someone said that it should be video game centric. True. I think it should be mostly video game centric, but adding a bit of side dish of pop culture. That's it. Like just sort of pop culture related thing. Comic, anime, movies. You know, non-political crap that what Frost did. So none of that. Just talk about video games mostly, but have that side dish with the pop culture stuff there. Just saying there. So, like I said, the host, yeah, if you got Austin Creed, great. Casper's actually my, again, personal opinion. I think he does a good job. So you have those. And then you can have a rotating guest host. You can have those other hosts. Fiona, 
Will, Gina, they can probably host also. I mean, you don't have to be like super like professional about it. Just have fun. Don't be shy. That's really my opinion about it because I think people kind of click that. They can probably relate that like, oh, look, YouTubers to some extent. And then once in a while, have, like I said, there's sometimes cross hosts on that show. Gerald the Completionist. Once in a while, he makes an appearance there. Why not? Golden Boy. I mean, I don't know what's happening right now, but he still works at G4 from what I heard. Why not have him there? Because it's actually funny. He can probably talk inside about video games. Somebody maybe on movies. I mean, you got Will Neff, but maybe other people. And then for the anime, this one's kind of disappointing me that they got rid of her. They did not renew her contract. I really may bring her back. If you need some sort of like anime-centric information, you have her. She's funny. See, those three posts, it actually blends with the back of the show there. So it's kind of weird why G4 got rid of Avili May. She's funny. Like, in my opinion, she was funny there. So you got your anime expert. And then, again, you want video game. You got Golden Boy, the completionist. And then you just want pop culture stuff, the attack of the show host. So, yeah. So Kevin Pereira leaving. It is what it is. Has nothing to do with the layoff. It was already been planned. So that's really it. So... Kevin, best wishes for there. So, I mean, is the attack of the show going to be now bad without him? No, because to some extent, I'm not going to lie. Kevin Pereira's cool. His podcasts are cool. I listened to some of them in the past. But I really prefer Austin Creed to be the host. He does a good job. I think he's great at it. So, just saying there. And if you can't make it because of his WWE schedule, Kasim can do it or someone else can do it. Anybody can do it to some extent, in my opinion. I mean, yes, I'm not being, like, really picky about it. As long as they do a good job and it entertains the people, that's all really it. So, like I said in my previous video, if they play their cards right, if they keep entertaining people, and maybe to some extent some people even suggest, why not have a premium subscription, like a join button or whatever, like maybe you get, like, preview incentive, like exclusive, something like that. So, like I said, if they play their cards right, they're just keep people entertained and enjoy them some watching without any politics issue, then you would probably do good and maybe you'll, you start making money again on YouTube. Just saying that. But you got to understand, you are on an internet space, not television. I'm just saying that. That's what it is. So, there you go. My thoughts on Kevin Pereira leaving. It is what it is there. With that, I'll see you guys later.